What's up guys and welcome back to another eBay Miniature Rescues Learn, Paint, Fail, and Repeat. Today I'm just going to go over how I made the base for the new black coach that we've been working on over the last few weeks. Now a lot of people have been saying they don't want to see me do another black coach unless it has an even better base than the one I did with Ben Davies a few months ago. Now I can tell you that I am nowhere near that level of base making that he is, but I am going to try and do my best based on some of the things that were in that video that he did for the other black coach. So starting with some cork sheet, I'm going to break this apart and make kind of a platform for this black coach to sit on. Alright, so note to self, check the instructions to see how this actually goes together before cutting the cork. So I didn't quite make enough room, so I had to add a few more pieces here and there and kind of do a bunch of test fits to make sure that this was actually going to go on the base. And I mean, in the end, it, it worked out just fine, but that's something to always remember is just do a bunch of test fitting and make sure that what you're building is actually gonna fit with the model that you're using. So after getting that placement sorted out, I just started to add a bunch more little rocky bits around the base and in a minute I'm going to introduce some bits that I got from someone online that's just going to take this base to another level. Micah R sent me some models to paint and they will be on the channel in the next few weeks or so but he also sent me a giant box of bits. And in that were a whole bunch of these skeletons, and I'm not sure where they're from. I'm not sure if they're early GW or something else, but they fit really well with a death themed base. So I decided to put one of them in a grave and he's kind of crawling out and there's some gravestones and body parts kind of scattered around. After gluing on some rocks and sand to the whole thing, I did a base coat with surface primer black and I shot white ink at about a 45 degree angle just to pick up some of those details. Using some of this sepia ink and then later on some of this black surface primer for the shadows, I just gave it an overall coat and kind of concentrated that brown in some of those shadows and some of these details to just make everything graveyardy and you know dirty and brown. Then I used some of this static grass, which I don't have a static grass applicator. I'd love to get one, but this is pretty short. So just kind of rubbing it between my fingers to kind of get a little bit of static electricity. I have no idea if this works, but it seems to do all right. A lot of the grass is still standing up. I placed it slowly around the model, just kind of working in small areas at a time. Starting with Administratum Gray, I did a dry brush over all of the details that were still kind of poking through a lot of that grass. I left a lot of those rocky areas pretty bare because I still need to glue or pin down the model, but going over this kind of stone, all of these headstones, 
with that gray is going to set us up for this Corax white. And I'm going to just do this a little more concentrated on the sharper edges of each of those headstones and on the skeleton bits that are poking out. I kind of lost a few of them in the rubble and that was a little bit unfortunate. I was able to uncover some of them, um, but they're in there. So, you know, true to life, I guess. This is a graveyard. There are bones under the dirt. And lastly, I added some army painter grass tufts just all around the whole thing to make sure that there were still grassy areas sticking up where the static grass may have not quite been staticky enough. And I really like the way that this base turned out. Now, I am not that great at making bases, and this is definitely not as good as the one that Ben did for the other coach, but I feel pretty good about myself for getting this far, and honestly, that's because of just watching what he did in that video. So I'm gonna throw a link to that video in the description of this one, and you can kind of check out in a little bit better detail. It's kind of a time lapse, but you still get the gist, and you can kind of work off of some of that. Now, I have it on good word, too, that Ben is going to be starting a base channel pretty soon. And we're planning a few different things. So when those come up, I will definitely be sure to give you all of that information so we can learn how to make bases together, because I want to get better. Thank you once again for joining me on another eBay Miniature Rescues Learn, Paint, Fail, and Repeat. If you liked anything about this video, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe as it really helps the channel out. I've been Casey, and I will see you in the next video.